Nobody can fathom the mechanisms for body plan changes. Nobody knows how body plans have changed. There's no mechanism. Remember, evolution is about the mechanism of change. Nobody knows how these mechanisms have changed. What's never been shown is how a body plan changes, which is the differences between us and dogs and tigers and, 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 and monkeys. I mean, the mechanism for the change is unknown. A massive functional change of a body part would require multiple concerted lines of variation. Sure, one can suggest multiple small changes ad infinitum, but the concerted requirement of multiple changes all in the same place and at the same time is impossible to chemically fathom. One day the requisite chemical basis might become apparent so that the questions can be answered, but present day biology is far from providing even chemical proposals for this functional change, let alone a data substantiated chemical mechanism. What biologists will often give to me is they'll give me, here is the immune system. Look at how the immune system evolves. And I'll concede, you want to call this evolving? It is evolving. Look at how the immune system does this. It is, all of a sudden it's, it, it's confronted with something new and it will morph and change. But my argument is it has always remained an immune system. It didn't become a digestive system. It didn't become an auditory system. The system remains the same. Yes, you have changes within the system, but you never see jumping across, nor can you propose how it even might do that. I'm not even asking you, I said, I'm not even asking you to show me how it's done, how you would change an immune system into some other system. Just show me how, what is the proposal for that? Nothing. Remember, it's about the mechanism of change. That's their own words. Collective cluelessness. Therefore, I don't understand the mechanisms needed to change body plans or the mechanisms along the descent pathway between Australopithecine brain and the modern human brain. If we are indeed commonly descended as predicted by the theory of universal common descent. And nobody else understands the mechanisms either. Nobody! But unlike most, I'm saying it publicly. Collective cluelessness. Recall quoting the biologists, evolution is both about the mechanisms by which change occurs over time and the theory of universal common descent. The mechanisms are unknown and the theory of universal common descent, though robust, is being confronted by evidence that can be interpreted as uncommonist through ENCODE and orphan genes. And it's massively changing every month. There are hundreds being added to this list. So what is, what do I say? Further study is warranted. That's it. I can't disprove. All I can say is it is a theory that deserves further study. But to go and to project it as if we are clear on this and it is fact is wrong. It is a lie to do that. It is a lie. It is a lie to project to people that we understand the formation of life. It is a lie because we don't. We are absolutely clueless on the origin of life. And on universal common descent, it is a fantastic theory worthy of further research. But it is not a fact and it should not be projected as such. The end. Thank you.